Hi guys, my name is Elisa Bryant. My name is Derek Palms and I am a senior marketing major and I will be graduating in 20 something days or however much it is now. And my name is Tyler Brown. Together we make up Adrenaline Dynamics. Adrenaline Dynamics serves to bring the world of sport and community together, finding organizations that deserve the brand recognition and doing so through the society's love of sports and community engagement. Our goal with this project was to make a difference. Our team decided that we needed to partner with our client, who is a strong local name in the Kennesaw community, mostly Mutz. Let's take a look at who they are and what they do. If you could save lives every day, why wouldn't you? Mostly Mutz Animal Rescue fights euthanasia and animal overpopulation and finds forever families for dogs and cats. Nobody's left behind because we also take in our handicapped furry friends. And since we ain't too proud to beg, we're asking you to skip one latte a week to help out with just $10 a month. Donate now and let the animal lover in you shine. As you can see, the mission of Mostly Mutt's Animal Rescue and Adoption is to work closely with animal control officers and other rescue organizations to reduce the number of animals entering into and being euthanized at local shelters. Mostly Mutt's provides housing, health care, training, physical and emotional care to adoptable animals while we work to finding them a loving home. Mostly Mutz is also involved with the community with education and awareness programs, and they have adorable, adorable animals that need to be adopted, and they have a wonderful staff. We created our event slogan after meeting with some of the main volunteers at Mostly Mutz and decided to center it around their mascot, Jags, who is paralyzed midway through his back down. This is Jags. Let's go. Sit. Sit. Because of this, JAG requires a little bit of extra TLC and more supervision than your normal dog. But after the care that was given him after mostly months, they were still able to find him a home. And we found this really inspiring. So we decided to create our event after this and came up with the idea for Jumps for JAGs at Sky Zone. Here's a short clip to help you visualize where our event is at, which is in the backyard of Kennesaw. see why I'd rather be at Sky Zone. After viewing this clip, you'll for sure want to get in on the fun. The owner and staff are amazing people. They're up for anything that benefits the community. So our initial target market was college students from Kennesaw State or the local community, which is why we wanted to do it on Wednesday night at Sky Zone because that is their college night, which is cheaper like they do at Andretti's. So as you can see from our flyer, we were going to have a strong focus on the dodgeball tournament aspect to try to get um, large groups of college students to come out and play. After quickly realizing we were not getting the response we were wanting for the dodgeball tournament, um, but instead, people were more interested in the percentage night and how much money was going to Mostly Mutts. We decided to target families um, instead of the college students and more specifically the parents of the families. So this is why we started with Twitter to go towards college students and straight away with that and created the Facebook event page and things of that nature because that's where more of the adults are active in the social stratosphere and it was a stronger reach and they were able to connect with one another, ask questions, and get the word out faster. This target market was perfect because most local families have heard of or have a special connection with Mostly Muds. Volunteers even had their family members attend as well as people who have adopted from Mostly Muds in the past. Our percentage night was also a stronger way to attract people to our event because of the percentage of each purchase that would be going back to Mostly Mutts instead of just doing a dodgeball tournament. As well as both Sky Zone and Mostly Mutts being very community oriented and having a strong emphasis on family. Our theme of course was animal centered which is much more popular for the older generation. We wanted to make sure that we hit the entire spectrum. This is why the other portion of our theme was high energy and action with the use of trampolines and dodgeball. This resonates stronger with the younger generations. So adding to the animal theme from Mostly Mutts, we used the emotional appeal 
to help emphasize the needs that Mostly Mutts was having. Um, they have a brand new shelter, which they're super excited for. It's state-of-the-art and very lovely, but people took that as they didn't need any more money and have stopped kind of giving money towards the organization, but instead trying to help volunteer more. But what people don't know is that they're still acquiring five to ten thousand dollars of vet bills per month, and that's strictly just bills. That's not to um, buy the space or pay rent or any other things to feed all the animals. That is strictly the vet bills. Um, so we use this to help us when we were able to acquire donations and support from the community to get around mostly mutts and get sponsors to be a part of the event and donate um, gift cards or monetary donations or things of that nature. Sponsors included Palms Perspective Photography, Night Owl Productions, Bryant Lawn Service, Big Shanty Barbecue Smokehouse, Peace Love and Pizza, and 678 Red Junk. All these sponsors are smaller businesses right out of the Kennesaw community, or they had an affiliation with Mostly Mutts. Though their goals do not include the same mission of helping animals, they all have the same mission of bringing the community together in one form or fashion or the other. In our eyes, we didn't exactly consider the event a total success because we were not able to accomplish all of our goals that we were wanting to for Mostly Mutts, um, which was a bit disappointing. However, we did realize that Mostly Mutts considered it a success. Soon enough, we realized that when it comes to working with nonprofits or fundraising, it doesn't matter if your original plan doesn't fall through. Instead, it's more about focusing on putting in the time and effort to help get any donations and help gain recognition for the organization. So from my personal reflection, I quickly realized how hard it is to plan tournaments to get people to take the initiative. It's a lot easier to plan the event and get the sponsorships and do all of those pieces because you're the one that's in charge of that. They're, your team's relying on you to get the sponsors, to get the tasks done, to do this and the other. But when it comes to tournaments, you're strictly reliant on people outside of your control to create the teams and contact you and ask questions and things of that nature and that is extremely hard. Um, so I've realized in my experience with event and venue management in the past that it's 10 times easier to just run the event to, to work with the client on the back end and have them kind of be the ones that are out there trying to get the team together and we we had a lot of a lot of issues for the event from our first initial time of we were going to do a bowling tournament and they were going to charge us $700 to have like 20 people come out and bowl and it was going to have food and drink and we were super excited and we had built up about $500 in sponsorship donations which we were super pumped for and um, one of our team members was in charge of the sponsorships and she dropped the class and her dropping the class really set us back because she didn't contact us back anymore and so she basically dropped the class and those $500 that we had to go towards the $700 went with her and this was on the last day of drop ad so that put us with just a few weeks left to finish the whole project so we had to create a whole new event and find another organization that would partner around the Mostly Mutts theme and be a part of that and be willing to work with us in a a tight um, time frame especially because of spring break so we weren't able to do it on spring break because that's a busy time for all businesses and they can't really shut down their operations or donate money or time um, so we quickly learned that in the future of event planning it's it's best to task one person with a, a specific topic but not to put all of your eggs in one basket for that that one person you want to you know, have constant communication, so not just one person's talking to the sponsors, but people are CC'd on emails and can reach out and, and this, that, and the other. So that way, if an instance like that happens in the workplace or say somebody got sick or ill and they weren't able to continue with the event for a, uh, a real-world um, business event for your company, that there would still be people on the back end to kind of pick that up. But 
no matter how stressful it was or, or difficult it may have seemed, in the end it, it truly doesn't matter because of the impact that anything has um, for mostly mucks or a nonprofit organization. They're just completely in awe of just people wanting to work with them and help them and it, it truly boosts your spirit to be able to give back to a community organization and to work closely with them. So all in all, our event was a bumpy ride to get to where we were and it wasn't a huge success because of the time being the week after spring break that most people were getting back into the school action. But at the end of the day, we were able to help raise awareness and we still raised over $380 in um, gift cards that they could use at their flea market. So all in all, we say that it was a, a good um, event, even though it did not go perfect. Wow. I mean, I don't even know where to begin. There's so much that I've taken away from this project that's applicable for real life. Uh, for starters, be proactive. They're only going to take you serious if you're proactive and you're insistent. You keep reaching out to them. You show them your interest. Show them your drive. This project was beyond just getting a grade and passing a class. It was about successfully running an event for two organizations, making an impact on the community. At this time, I'd like to thank Mostly Muds for allowing us to create an event for their organization and for Sky Zone for allowing them to use their facility. At this time, I'd really like to thank Derek and Elisa for staying in persistent contact with Sky Zone and Mostly Muds and making sure that this event was going to be run successfully. Overall, um, I really enjoyed taking this course simply because it is a little bit different than any other class that I've taken here at Kennesaw. Um, because we are putting on an actual event instead of writing a paper for say or something like that. Um, we are going out into the business world and we're making connections with these companies and these nonprofits and we're able to put on a real event for them and raise money for them and things like that. Um, I think the biggest thing I learned just by putting on this event from this course is that communication is important overall and throughout the entire thing. Um, communicating with your company, communicating with your sponsorships and making sure you have them is super important because they're such a huge part and portion to put, being able to put on this event and communication with your publics and your target markets because without them, you can't really consider your event a success because you need consumers to come to your event and to help you make it successful. So I think that is what the biggest thing I learned through taking this course is. But overall, I've really enjoyed the class and being able to feel like I've actually use my skills and put them to work and we just wanted to thank you guys for watching our video please be sure to check out mostly mutt's um, flea market it goes until april 21st so you still have a little less than a week to go out there they're going to be having raffles and things that you can buy and it all goes to a good cause and please reach out to mostly mutt's if this made you want to volunteer they're always looking for more volunteers they use college students you can come take a dog for a day and um, play with it and it truly makes a huge difference in the dog's life to be able to get outside and get some human interaction and go play in the park or it could be good for you to get the stress away from finals so they're always looking for more people so please reach out that's that is our goal for this project no matter what may have happened no matter what grade we get on this project we we just want mostly much to have more awareness more volunteers so so go out, check them out. They're in the Kennesaw community, and they're great people to work with. Thank you, guys.